All right, we are here at Emu Bay, beautiful Emu Bay, with Katie from the KOI Wildlife Network. And what are we what are we doing here today, Katie? Yeah, so today we're planting um, coastal varieties around the degraded areas of the Emu Bay penguin colony, and we're working with the Landscape Board um, Native Plant Nursery. So they grew these for us. Um, and we've got about 200 to plant today, so it's very exciting. Plant varieties that we're planting are potentially gonna grow over existing artificial burrows as well as the ceramic burrows to yep. help with the cooling in the, um, the molting period. And the other varieties uh, are potential nesting uh, material for the penguins. So they'll come and pick some off and put that inside their burrow, whether it's a natural burrow or artificial burrow. And the other is to try and just stop erosion around the colony as well. So by planting out the degraded areas, a lot of the acacias here are quite short lived. And so then you can start getting erosion problems with rising sea levels and, and that sort of thing. So by getting those roots down in there, that just helps with your coastal erosion as well. So it's sort of a, a multi, multi-purpose project, yeah. And how are the little penguins doing here in Emu Bay? How many are, do we know how many there are? Um, I don't have an accurate count, but this colony is actually doing quite well. Uh, but the... I guess what sort of spurred this project on was a little bit of the researchers had found that there were some deaths from uh, rising air temperatures during their molting period and Jane Banford, a ceramicist from Tasmania, was already doing some ceramic penguin burrows in her habitat in Tasmania and thought that her project could expand to Kangaroo Island um, and so far our initial findings are that the ceramic burrows mimic the same conditions as the natural burrows and we believe that the humidity and the temperature inside the burrows um, are uh, very good for the molting and nesting and we've had take up of a nesting pair that raised, uh, hatched and raised their young out of one of the ceramic burrows. And two of the ceramic burrows were also used for molting and they were successful molting. So initial findings are very positive. Excellent, well thank you so much and yep. thanks for all the volunteers who, who've done all the great work and the, I presume there's more work to go still down here. Absolutely, so this project's gonna run until at least 2023 and that incorporates some coastal um, educational signage as well that we're working on. So watch this space, it's evolving and um, improving all the time. Excellent, thank you yeah. very much.